I feel like I need earrings. This better. It's like very fancy PJs. <laughs> Sign of a drink and hello friends and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am going to be filming the intro to my sample project pan. That's what I'm going to call it. It is basically me trying to finish all of my samples and like little deluxe samples and like tiny products. Basically just not full size products. Revolutionary. I know. Um, so I've got like in this box, I've got 20 products. Very nice. Um, that I'm going to start with, but then I have more here that I think I'm just going to roll in as we go. I don't know how long this project will take, but we, we will just see. It doesn't matter, I'm just going to start by showing you what I'm going to begin to work on. I'm going to update you every month, hopefully. I haven't been great at that, but Maybe this year? Starting with this, I'm counting this as one product because it it came together. And this is just a shampoo and conditioner. It is Miraculous Recovery. Whew. And it is from John Frieda. It's shampoo and conditioner. Like, I should be able to use this before the end of the month. Some of these are, I am going to be able to use like this, but some will take longer. Um, I was also very smart and took a lot of the things out of their packaging so they would take up less space. But now I have like this. Well, it's, it's marked on the back, so it's fine. But it's for um, Makeup Forever. It's just the Ultra HD foundation in different shades. Um, I think all of them are too dark for me, so maybe I can use them as contour. I am pretty... Wow. I am counting these as one because it's small. Maybe I should have counted them as four. Well, too late now. So next I have this e.l.f. illuminating eye cream it has purified water, cucumber and green tea lovely, I don't have an eye cream right now so this will be good I should be able to finish it, it's just like one packet if I'm good at using it next is Makeup Forever it is a base something, it's smooth, it's a smoothing primer step one smoothing primer. So the first primer. I have so many primers that I have to get through this year and one of them is just this. I could use this if I remember. Next is the e.l.f. mineral infused face primer. Primer number two. And next we will take the Murad Essential C Day Moisture. So just a moisturizer. It feels like there's pretty much nothing in here but hopefully there is something uh, but maybe it's like just for one time this I got this like a lip mask from Ulta as a birthday gift I haven't used it it's bad like I it, it's just a one-time thing I should be able to use it Um, now well not not yet it's weird that I'm calling the foundation one when I'm counting all these like lip samples as three. Well, I had ripped them up and then I decided to put them all in. Um, yeah, I think I'm still just going to count him as three different, even though yeah, it's my project, my rules. And I have a really hard time using lip products, so hopefully... This goes well. And now, finally, onto the products that are more than just one, maybe two, three uses. Let's just finish with the primers 
because you're probably going to get so sick of hearing about new and new and new primers in this project so I'm going to try and use them and use them fast well not faster than necessary but like not forget to use them weeks at a time I have this smash smash box smash box primerizer it is a moisturizer and primer in one so it's it's a moisturizing primer. It's... Oh, I love moisturizing primers, so I'm really excited to crack that one open. And the next I have the Milk Makeup Primer, I think. It's, it's the blur stick, that's what it is called. Um, and I'm pretty excited to try that one too. Well, not as excited as I am with the other one <laughs> but eh. so next I have these three lip products this first one is from Burr Minerals it is a gloss it has a really pretty color but it has shimmer in it I don't normally like that but I'm tr going to try and use it because I don't want to throw it away it is in the shade socialite and I hope that I can get on board with using it. Next I have a like miniature lipstick from Too Faced. It doesn't have that much left. But I don't remember if this washes me out or if it's really pretty. We will see. But it is in the shade Naked Dolly. The third lipstick is from Bare Minerals. It has like, it has the tiniest bit left. The tiniest. But it is a pink that I don't really like. So maybe it's going to take a while. But this is the shade Rebound. So let's talk next about fragrances. I have two here. I have one more like that... I will put in later. One just smells like cotton. Like clean sheets. I don't think I would wear it, but maybe I can make my apartment smell good when I get there. And the other one is in uh, from Dolce Cabana and is the fragrance Light Blue. And I don't know if it just came with this amount or if I have used it don't think so but I have this little mascara from Bare Minerals I don't think you can see anything on it it's too bright again I am I am playing with the lighting I have a ring light it's pitch black outside I have to like figure out a way to have my light okay in the winter when I don't have natural light all day and all night. Uh, but it's the Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. Next I have this from Becca. It's the Under Eye Brightening Concealer. Um, it's the little box. I have used it. I had it in a project before I think. but. I do like it. I just have to use it. It can be a bit cakey sometimes, but it's fine. It does get rid of my dark circles, which I think you can see now because I didn't go to sleep until like 2 a.m. I also slept, slept till like almost 2 a.m. But Let's not talk about that. Next I have this... Uh, yes. Next I have this Becca Hydra Mist uh, Set and Refresh Powder. I didn't know a powder could be refreshing. But we will see. I have... Well, I have opened this. Don't know if you can see this or if everything is washed out. Then just bear with me. Um. But, yeah, it's a powder. I want to use it up. And 
The last product is the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Just this little bottle is a finishing spray like... Okay, I've cre clearly never used it before, so... Yeah, that's it. I am really looking forward to getting some of this product out of my collection because I've been looking at him for so long. A lot of them I'm just like, oh, I really, really should use that, but then I don't. And they keep existing. Now I'm actually going to, though. Hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like these or follow along the updates that are hopefully coming monthly, I would recommend subscribing. But I really hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bless, bless.